Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Last time on Delightful Travelers, we were exploring the incredible island of Oahu in Hawaii. Though we wanted to stay here longer, sadly, it was time to move on. In this video, we arrive to mainland USA for the first time in over three years. We're kicking things off in Vegas with some locals, and believe it or not, it's our first time here. I'm Trevor, and this is Anna. In this series, we're back exploring the good old USA. Make sure to hit subscribe and click the like button so you don't miss a single video. A huge thanks to our channel members and patrons for making these videos possible. Welcome to Las Vegas. I'm on my way now. When you think of Las Vegas, you probably think of gambling and parties and nightclubs, the Las Vegas Strip, but we're showing you a whole other side. Oh my goodness, you guys, we are back on mainland USA. So First, excited. that's a big deal for us, yeah. first time in a long time, and we are in what I would call the most stunning area that we've ever been to. <laughs> so together, we've been to 50 countries, and believe it or not, We've never gone to the desert. This is the first time and I can't get over the landscape. It's out of this world. I feel like I'm maybe on Mars. This area is called Valley of Fire State Park and this whole time we've been looking around saying, this is like another planet. This is like another planet to us. First of all, there's no wind, the rocks are red, there's rocks everywhere. It's extremely dry, of course, it's a desert, and we're just in awe. This is a whole new landscape for us. We're super stoked. If you guys are excited, hit the like button because that'll help us get the video out there because we're back in the United States, baby. We're gonna be exploring. So we got here a few days ago, and just kind of been chilling out, doing a little bit of work, but not too much, just relaxing a little bit because we don't often have time to do that, but we've just been in awe of like everything that Las Vegas has to offer that we didn't really realize. I was here many, many years ago, but just for a couple of days. Trevor's never been to this area before. It's really exciting and I just can't get over like the options of so many things to do, including all this like crazy nature stuff, which I don't think most people think of when they think of Las Vegas, but there's loads and loads of options. And then later in the video, we're gonna be doing more like city stuff. It's so fun to walk around here because there's all these giant, I mean giant rocks. And there's these little like caverns every which way we look. Look, <laughs> more red rocks here. So you might be wondering how we got here today. We're not alone, we have some friends, some locals that are gonna show us around the Las Vegas area. So for those of you who have been watching for a while, you might remember these guys from a couple of videos in the Dominican Republic. Hi, we did super fun Yay, stuff, but Max back. and Marin, Voyager Guru. Yeah, Max, Marin. Yeah, so we're happy to have Anna and Trevor out here to be visiting us. We moved here uh, two years ago. Two now, years ago. But we have been frequenters of the Las Vegas area for a number of years. And uh, we're gonna go on a little bit of a yeah, uh, a tour today. It's gonna be fun. And we want to show them the coolest parts of Vegas, not just the strip that you probably will see later on in a different video, but we're gonna show you the way locals do Vegas today. Yeah. This so, is I'm awesome. So Can we just say how excited we are to be back with these guys? We love I them know, and we miss, miss them. them. Who remembers them from the DR? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure some people remember them from the DR as well. Before our friends show us around, we just wanted to say a huge thanks to AG1, who is once again back to sponsor this week's video. We are huge fans of AG1 for so many reasons, but mainly because it solves a lot of problems for us. But before we get into why, what exactly is AG1? AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. It's made up of 75 high quality ingredients carefully curated to nourish all body systems. Through a science-driven formulation of micronutrients, phytonutrients, and essential symbiotics, AG1 supports the brain, the gut, and the immune system. So why do we love it so much? Well, first, let's talk about gut health. With a combination of prebiotics, probiotics, and plant-based enzymes, AG1 helps support digestion, regularity, and overall gut health. It can bolster digestion and nutrient absorption and even reduce bloating. Gut health is so important no matter your lifestyle, but we find it extra important for us when we're busy traveling from place to place and trying some very different foods all the time. We also find with traveling, we get sick way more often. We are in and out of airports and just in general, we're around way more people. AG1 supports the immune system by giving us a full spectrum of vitamins and minerals that we might be missing in our diets. We love that it comes in these handy little travel packs that we can take with us anywhere in the world. AG1 fits into our daily routine wherever we go. So I know you're probably thinking that there's no way that this could possibly taste good, but 
it smells really good and it's one of those things that actually tastes very similar to how it smells. I always get like tropical flavors, kind of a pineapple flavor off of it. Are you ready to try AG1 for yourself? Head to drinkag1.com slash delightful travelers to get started on your order. AG1 is going to give our community a free one year supply of AG vitamin D3 plus K2 and five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. A huge thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this video and supporting creators like us. All right. You're about to see something epic. I feel like we are walking through a set of Star Wars right now. The reason I'm kind of off balance, check this out. We're in the sand. We're in the sand, so it's almost like we're on the beach, but we're in the middle of the <laughs> desert. The funny thing is, what's in front of us is this like epic looking walkway of more sand and crazy cliffs. Uh, yeah, this is just such a different scene for us, isn't it? It's, I can't get over it. It's crazy. We never see stuff like this. I guess if we do see stuff that's even remotely similar, it might be like cliffs on the side of a beach, but they don't look like this. We keep saying we're jealous of where these guys live. They're 40, like about 45 minutes away from this, huh? Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're about 45 minutes from the house to get here. And uh, it's, it's in our backyard. It's, it's one, of those, one of the reasons we moved here. People think, Oh, like, why'd you move to Vegas? Is it for the gambling? Is it for the hotels? Is it for the food? It's actually for the camping, mostly. <laughs> actually, there's crazy sand dunes in North Vegas. Oh, wow. Well, I think we found the best to look out, <laughs> at least where we're at now this in this This is park. crazy. We were about to go down, but I'm really happy we actually came up here because the view is unbelievable. This area is called White Domes. You can actually do a little trek around. It's about 1 to 0.2 miles. There are loads and loads of trails here, obviously, as you could imagine. And I think if you do this one, you pass like some old movie sets and stuff. How cool. Check out these rocks. They're like different colors, huh? <laughs> it's so cool. It's like a complete rainbow of like different deposits over millennia of yeah, time. Yeah, it's like purple, green, white, <laughs> yellow. I mean, it's like literally Rainbow Canyon. That's do you, so do you cool. guys feel like you live on another planet? Yeah, yeah like sometimes. sometimes. It's like yeah. a post-apocalyptic <laughs> yeah. uh, Most Mars. people would think that you live on Mars because you live in, in, in on the Strip in Vegas. And it's a little <laughs> bit crazy, but you actually live on Mars for other reasons. Too. <laughs> we are about to make our way out of here because we're going to take you guys back into the city. But we're not going to the Strip. Welcome to downtown. Las Vegas and as you can see this is a mix of a lot of different things there's graffiti there's different pieces of art and honestly I didn't expect to find this in Las Vegas this is a super <laughs> cool neighborhood I definitely heard about it because you know people obviously talk about the strip all the time but then you start to hear a little bit about downtown I think it's kind of like old Las Vegas and it, once the strip kind of came to be I think this lost its lost its vibe but it's in the last back. few years, it's come back. It's yeah. a super cool neighborhood. Yeah, like yeah, the guys that are with us just said it's kind of like up and coming. And I totally see that, but at the yeah. same time, I feel like it already it's has come on. up. Yeah. Like it's full on. <laughs> yeah. This is really, really neat and very unique for a neighborhood. So the main sort of area of downtown is Fremont Street. That's where you want to be. It has everything on it. We're making our way up to a container park right now. There's lots of cool art around, and we were told by Max and Marin that they heard that a lot of the art around is actually came from Burning Man. It's just like leftover stuff. So one of the cool things about Fremont Street is it's called downtown Vegas, but it actually is real Las Vegas because everybody refers to the strip as Las Vegas, but in reality, it's actually a town called Paradise. So we just came over to this really unique container park. And as you can see, there's tons of food options in here. There's tons and tons of people. There's even a DJ and we did find some food that we wanted to eat. Look at these sandwiches right now. We found some beer as well, and this is such a great day so far. You guys know that we always love stopping at a great craft beer place. The food, as Trevor already, already said, was fabulous. American food, I'm sorry, it's so <laughs> underrated. It's so good, but really, really cool spot in a really great area. I know, we had a blast in there. I wish we could have turned the camera on, because it was, well, we had it on to film the B-roll, but it was loud. But it was way the too music. loud. This is one of the problems with one of the big struggles of being a vlogger is going into a place and there's crazy loud music. <laughs> One thing will get demonetized, the other thing you just can't hear us. Well, at least they got to see it in the B-roll, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, now this is starting to feel a lot more like Vegas 
We just saw a heart attack cafe grill. <laughs> Look at this. You gotta show that Max is gonna weigh himself. 180, baby. Oh, I was like 175. I put on five pounds. I don't think that's five pounds of muscle. Why can you? Why can you do that here? Why can you just go weigh yourself? Well, because you're 350 pounds each free. Yeah, 350 pounds at this heart attack cafe. Oh, this is about the heart attack cafe. Yeah. yeah. So there's a cafe right there. I was just telling them about it oh, here on the video. This Wait, is absolutely it's crazy. It's cash only because literally you might die before, before the, check the check clears. Does anybody know why they're in nurses' suits? I, I think in case an emergency happens, <laughs> that's the only thing I can think of. All right, this just got America really bad. Yeah, it's so funny that you go from one end of the street, which feels like super hipster and trendy and all the street art, and then there's like a line, and you come through here and it's like, you're in America. Well, how did we get here? This is wild. Can you guys see the, the roof or the ceiling? What do we call it? It's like all a screen every way you look. There's so much happening here. What happened? This is like all I know. of a sudden. It just changed so drastically. So we haven't even been to the strip yet. That will obviously be in the next video, but this is definitely, <laughs> I don't even know if I want to say making us excited for it. I know it's not going to be quite like this. Like it's You bigger. don't think it's a sign of things to come? Maybe, in a weird way. <laughs> We're even spotting some people zip lining through this whole crazy walkway. This is nuts. As you guys can see, the lights are everywhere. There are people. Absolutely everywhere. We're trying to show you a different side of Las Vegas today, but we wanted to give you a little pinch, a little bit of flavor of what it's, uh, what it can be like. The next video we're going to the strip. You're gonna see that. But for now, I think we're gonna have to find somewhere else to like, you know, get a little bit less sensory overload. We're gonna find a quieter spot to go. Well, this is more like it. You can see we're on a very quiet lake right now, and that looks familiar behind us. Yeah, it's the next day. Things are much quieter today. We're in an area called Lake Las Vegas. It's the area where Max and Marin live, not too far from here, but it's quite far from the Strip and from downtown, which is nice because it's so much more chill here. And yeah, this area is like modeled after Italy. Florence, <laughs> that's like, the, you guys been to Florence, seen the bridge there, the famous bridge? It's, it is so cool. Guys, take a look at that. I mean, you would think you're almost in Italy. It, it, it's almost an exact replica. It's so close. <laughs> it's pretty close. You can probably tell there's lots of restaurants around here and there's different activities. You can rent paddle boards. There's lots of boats. Check out the stage. We're told that there's music here from time to time, but already we like the contrast. Isn't this wild? We just came from that crazy, crazy section in downtown Las Vegas. And here we are. It's like really peaceful. I did not expect to find this in Vegas and I hope it's surprising you guys. So you guys were saying that this used to be a ghost town? Yeah, it was a development that was started many years ago and during the recession it kind of shut down and literally became a ghost town and only in the last couple of years has it reopened and now there's tons of housing developments. Yeah, like if you amazing. drive through here there's loads of places and be continue, it looks yeah. like it's continuously being built up. I mean basically like everything else, like 08 hit it really hard, shut down everything and for a lot of years, even up to like a year or two ago, people in Las Vegas didn't even really think that this was a good place to live mm -hmm. and recently it's just started booming. There's so many new restaurants, there's new stores, there's all kinds of stuff up here. And it's so cool that this is like, what, about 30 minutes outside the city? 20? Yeah, about, about 20, 20 or 30, minutes. kind of See? depending on where you are. How yeah. cool is that? I mean, it's the strip. We're talking about 20 minutes from the strip, and yeah, then you nice. have this. And it's like an Italian adult Disneyland. <laughs> What's not to love? No, I think my favorite part, too, is that we're so close to where we were the other day mm -hmm. in Lake Mead, where you just pop right from here straight into Lake Mead. You don't have to come from the strip and go all the way out there. Yeah. Like we're five minutes from getting into the, into the it's, park. Wait, you're like right in the center of yeah. all the cool stuff, I feel like. I know. Yeah, I love it. I think you're gonna have some two new roommates more, yeah. more yeah, often move here. than you want. <laughs> like move into your house, maybe. You, you yeah. guys, you guys are always invited to move into our house. <laughs> well, that's like a perfect segue because we often talk about moving to places, as you guys know, especially mm -hmm. the ones that follow week to week. Yeah, and we're always looking out for places that we can spend some time at. And the nice thing about the U.S. Mm -hmm. we talked about this before is that we could stay for up to six months being Canadians. Also, in like Max and Marin were telling us, because so many people come here for like work trips and like short periods or like contracts 
it's very easy to get a six month con or six month lease, which is really interesting. You don't yeah, that very you'll get often. a better discount, of course, long term mm -hmm. rentals. Mm -hmm. For us, one of the biggest appeal, like it, it's not just that it's it's Vegas. Like we're not strip people. I, mm -hmm. I think that's probably pretty obvious. However, this could be a great jumping off point. I mean, you have a major, major airport. Yeah. So many towns, so many cities close by. Mm -hmm. Hello, did you see the first of the video? The landscape around here mm -hmm. is epic. It's so funny. If you would ask me like a week ago, if you're, you know, you could pick the ocean or you could pick the desert. Like I'd be like, obviously you pick the ocean. But, ooh, there's something majorly appealing that I didn't even realize maybe, here. In maybe the this will wear off. That we're first time kinds of kind of desert people at this point. So maybe it will get old with I the heat. Know. I'm sure people are gonna warn us in the comments, don't be here in the summer, <laughs> all that stuff. But right now, this is super cool. Like yeah. this is interesting. We're usually on beaches. And for some reason, sometimes like as a Canadian, the USA isn't as appealing, you know, culturally, like there's similarities, mm -hmm. but being here. I don't know, uh, I've been loving it, loving it. All right guys, cheers. 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 It's been awesome hanging out with you guys and they were showing us around. We need them, clearly. Oh yeah, and we've had such a great time. We did things that we never ever would have done on our own, that's for sure. <laughs> so I think and there's still so many things to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, we're coming back, clearly. You have to. You're gonna show us around? Of course. You have to follow these guys on their channel yes we'll put their Instagram and their YouTube channel in the description <laughs> below so go follow them I hope you guys enjoyed uh, coming around Las Vegas with us today to see another side of it maybe yeah. maybe not the You've side. maybe seen the downtown part <laughs> before but hopefully the other stuff was a little bit of a surprise if you left a comment already and you're like you got to go to the strip that's happening yeah in the next video. Of course, we're gonna go to the strip. We have to kind of experience that together mm -hmm. for the very first time. I think that will be a lot of fun. Yeah, so obviously in the future, these guys are great friends. We're gonna be meeting up with them, who knows, here, maybe in the Dominican Republic, maybe somewhere else in the world, who knows, but we'll definitely see them someday in future videos. But in the next video, I think we might be meeting up with some other friends. It's either maybe? gonna be the next video or the video after very we're soon. working that out. Yeah. I think some of you guys will recognize them. They may mm -hmm. have been on the channel before. Leave your guesses below. Mm -hmm. If you got this far in the video and you don't know who we are for some reason, it's Trevor and Anna, delightful travelers. Hello, <laughs> subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, leave us a comment, all the things. If you're not new, we appreciate every one of you coming back each and every week. It means the world to us. And if you didn't know and you are new, our last video, we were not here on mainland USA. No, we were, we were in the USA. We were in Hawaii, Oahu to be specific. And it was absolutely <laughs> incredible. So definitely go back and watch that. Yeah, lots more USA stuff coming up, but we're gonna just finish up with these drinks yeah. and call it a day. I'm glad we're, we're into like the calm part of Las Vegas, Lake Las Vegas we're at now. Yeah, we can <laughs> just chill out from here on out. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you very soon. All right, guys, that's it. From Lake Las Vegas specifically, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.